Today's video is a sad one. We're going to be saying goodbye to Akira. This is the last time you'll be seeing her. And uh, it, it's, it's very sad because I've, I've, I've had her for, I don't even really know how long. She was totally fine for the first few years that I had her. I don't know if you can hear that. But, um, she was totally fine for three years, three or four years, and then all of a sudden at the end of this summer, she started, uh, like, twisting, having weird behavior, and so she's, she's, she's uncomfortable and she's slowly been kind of like getting worse. I took her to the vet to get her tested and uh, although they were nice and everything it was very disappointing because I asked before going if they have something where they can specifically test her for IBD but they they said that they did in the end what they did do is they did some sort of swab or something where they took some blood from her and checked for inclusions in the blood and they didn't find any, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have it. It is disappointing, and I've decided to put her down. Because if it is IBD, she's not going to be getting better. There is no cure for it. And I've seen snakes get respiratory infections. I've seen them kind of deal with other problems where they've been able to recover. And I'm sure that what she has is affecting her neurologically, like she's getting a little worse neurologically. Uh, she's, the doctor said she, like the front part of her body is uh, losing body weight. And like her whole mouth is like, she's secreting like a, like a thick gooeyness out of her, like you can see the, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not very nice. She's still eating properly, but it's just gonna get worse and I can't risk her passing this on to my other animals. So I, I've kept her away from them. She's only ever really hung out with one other snake and I, I was going to put him down too just to be safe. Yeah, I took her for a checkup and everything. So, I've basically raised her since a baby. And in, in, ten year, in almost 10 years of keeping snakes, the only snakes that I've ever lost have been snakes that didn't make it as babies. So, this is actually going to be my first time putting down an animal. And it's, it's very sad because it's just like, she's actually the first snake that Ariel said it was okay for me to have. She's a, she's a beautiful, she's a, she's, a, she's a beautiful animal. And she's always been sweet. She, she's, she's always been a really wonderful animal. Ty? was in, um, he was in contact with her, so I was going to put him down too just to be safe, but I found, I found someone that was willing to take him just as a pet that wouldn't be around other reptiles, that wouldn't be breeding or anything, because that's, that's the biggest thing that I was worried about, like, technically I could probably give her to someone too if they wanted to just take care of her until she goes but if her life's just gonna get worse and worse and worse until she dies I figure the best thing to do is to just put her out of her pain there is a, a guy that goes by the nighttime Nicholas 
And what he does is he preserves animals in a really interesting way. So uh, she's going to be going to him and he's going to preserve her. So at least that will be interesting. Like her body's not going to waste. It's just uh, it's a little it's it's very strange to raise an animal for years and then have to say goodbye. Yes, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. I will see you don't, next. Don't touch her for now. From the time I noticed problems, I've kept her separate from the other animals, and. I've done all my cleaning with the other animals first and done her last and then make sure to clean myself and sanitize everything properly. She's just, she's just always been a wonderful animal. One of the things that really sucks about reptiles is that there isn't that much known about them. They're not, they haven't been as popular as cats or dogs, especially in the past. So now they're becoming more popular, but there are barely any vets that are actually working with them. And uh, like, so even talking to the lady that was helping me out, basically told me that they, they don't know, they, they don't know what's going on. So it's like, it, it's really crappy that I had to spend hundreds of dollars to find out nothing. So it's just like, I could have just you know, figured that she had that and put her down in the first place. But it was the first time that I actually really felt like if I didn't take her to a vet and I didn't try and get her tested, it would have ended up bothering me. And it still bothers me because I still don't have a for sure answer. And this is one of the things that I guess is tricky as a breeder or keeper of many reptiles is sometimes you have to make a choice that uh, basically you have to choose like if you like an animal in this situation what do you do with it do you do you try and find it a home I think that it would be unfair to put like anyone that has some reptiles most likely wouldn't want to take her in for the risk that she could put to their other reptiles. If I had no other reptiles, I would keep her myself, possibly. Um, but, and then to give her to someone, let's say, who would have her as their only pet, if they've never had a pet reptile, and then th their only experience is gonna be dealing with a sick one, like, it's just, that that's not a really a positive experience at least not for me uh it, it's different than dealing with other issues because it's like she could be irritable she might stop eating eventually there's all sorts of things that could go wrong where it gets worse and worse and for someone to have that as their first reptile experience it's just not something that i would want to to give to anyone so it's it's hard. I, I, I really believe that the best thing for her and everyone is just for her to be put down. Even though the vets were nice and everything, it's just for the most part when dealing with all these animals, I know what's going on with them more than the vets here do because the vets here don't have that experience like they read books they study books they've gone over cases and uh, their hands-on has not been what what my hands-on been or other keepers I'm not saying like me I'm the greatest too wonderful or no more than vets or anything I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying that over about 10 years of experience I've learned a lot of stuff and I've read a lot of stuff so other keepers that have like 50 years of experience dealing with animals, they just, they have more knowledge on the animals than the vets do. What we cannot do is we can't, we can't test them. We, there's no way for us to test them. And even the, like here in Canada, the vets have no way of testing for certain things unless we send it over to the States. And to send samples over to the States, 
we have to go through the same process of like importing an animal over to the states or at least that was what was told to me that you have to go through CITES or something it makes it really difficult it makes it really hard because it would be nice if we had access to more things I'm not gonna cry <laughs> I told you I'll never I'm never gonna cry on this channel unless yeah I don't think I ever will um, I don't I don't do that <laughs> I cry but like I don't I'm not, when, I, when I was a little kid I, I remember I, I, I was I found like a bird that fell out of the tree and it, it was like a baby bird and I brought it home to mom and uh, I was like mommy mommy we have to we have to save this bird's life we have to like we have to make sure it's okay and uh, I, I took care of it and I set up like a warm thing and I tried feeding it and it, it, it died one day and I, I cried for three days and made a little burial in the backyard and stuff and that's that's how I was I used to be like super sensitive maybe I just pretend I'm not sensitive but I just yeah I'm not yeah I'm not gonna start crying on YouTube for everyone I'm sorry <laughs> uh, it, it just it just really sucks because it's like she's she's beautiful she has a beautiful personality she has a beautiful snake and we had good times together she's also she's a square tail she's the only square tail that i have in my uh collection so there's not going to be any more square tail plans yeah i, I don't even really know what to say so <laughs> uh, i think that's that's good enough for now um yeah <laughs>